back to DFM TV. I am Dan the Fire Stick Man, your source for entertainment. And on today's video, I am going to give you three major reasons why you should own your own modem rather than the one from your internet provider. I'm also going to talk about two options that you're going to have in case you want to go ahead and go that route. And if you stay tuned to the end of this video, I should be able to save you some money and increase your internet speed all at the same time. So let's get started. Reason number one. I think this is one of the most important reasons for a lot of you because you guys have been doing this for years probably without not having a clue that you've been doing this and that is you're actually paying a rental fee for your modem. That's right. You're paying anywhere between five and ten dollars a month and this is separate from your current charge for your internet speed so you could be paying 70 80 90 120 dollars a month for internet and in addition to that you're paying anywhere between five to ten dollars to rent the piece of equipment that's necessary to get the internet speed which you are already paying for it doesn't make any sense because to me that's no different than going to the dealership purchasing a new car but in order for me to drive it out the lot i need to rent the tires separately in order to drive it out the lot it doesn't make any sense if I'm paying somebody for a service they should be able to include all the equipment required for them to provide me with that service that's just me though now a lot of you don't know that you're paying for this modem uh, on a monthly basis and if you're not paying for the modem if you're lucky enough that they're not charging you for the modem they're most likely you charging you for the router which is another five or ten dollars a month that equals to hundred and twenty dollars a year guys when you can purchase your own equipment and you can save yourself that money not to mention reason number two reason number two that you should get your own equipment and not use theirs is because you're giving them access to all the features that that particular modem has now what do I mean by that well there's a lot of features that you can change on a modem to go in conjunction with the devices that you're connecting to the router per se and then spreading out that internet connection to those devices there's certain features that you can change on a modem to increase that internet speed depending on how many devices you have. Now, because their equipment comes with built-in firmware, they have access to it from their end at any point that they want. At any point without you knowing anything about it, without any notifications to you, they can go into your modem settings and changing anything around. Now, what would be a reason for the cable company to do that? Well, because when you call them and tell them, hey, I'm having issues and they'll ask you how many devices you have and you give them a number that's oh well you need to get the next highest plan that's only going to cost you 50 or 60 dollars more than what you're paying now in order to get internet speed and get your devices running smoothly you now need to pay almost double on your bill when you could originally got everything done with the original plan as long as the settings were set correctly so you can get the most out of the products that you're getting now I mentioned that because I currently have spectrum spectrum 400 but before spectrum 400 I had spectrum 200 and both of them did the job for me exactly how I needed it done the only reason I moved up to the 400 was due to a promotion that I was gonna pay the same amount of money for several years and getting double the speed that's the only reason I switched over why because my current modem which is one of the ones that I'm going to talk to you about today that I've been using for over a year was getting the job done at 200 megs of internet speed with over 40 devices over 40 devices connected simultaneously because I have a smart home now when I was using their modem I wasn't able to pull off everything I had with the 200 megs of internet speed and I was refusing to pay another $30 a month to get 400 megs of internet speed I just I knew that I could do it with 200 because of the way that I was using it. I just could not do it with their equipment, no matter how hard I tried. So I made the investment and I got myself this Aries, which is I'm gonna I'm gonna be talking about today. This is the one right here. This Aries Surfboard SB8200. I put that baby on, and the difference was dramatic. And the fact that I'm no longer paying ten dollars a month for a modem, renting theirs, which is absolute garbage. You know, now I got my own modem. I don't have a rental fee anymore. Here's the third reason why you need to get your own modem. The third reason why you need to get your own modem is because these are recycle modems. Okay, this might have hit three or four homes before it hit your doorstep. And now you may see the technician pull it out of the van and take this wonderful wrapping off of it. These are wrappings that they do themselves. Okay, and these 
modems are completely recyclable and they're outdated modems. So a lot of you, a lot of you, even right now that are watching this video, you're most likely getting 80% less than what you were promised by your internet provider due to an outdated recycle modem. If you had your modem for over a year to a year and a half, you're out of date. I promise you that you are out of date. And if you really want to get the best performance and want to continue renting their modem, you need to call them, complain about issues, have them send you the most recent one, but yet you may get the same exact model number that's been recycled with the same exact issues. So the best course of action that you can do to increase your internet speed and get what you're actually paying for is to invest in your own equipment. Guys, it'll pay for itself in a year. Okay, in a year you're already paid for itself or at least the majority of it will be paid for itself depending on which modem that you buy. Now, it comes down to my recommendations. I have two recommendations. One that I use personally, uh, that I stand by, that I will not go without is this right here. Oh, I just dropped the paper, but this is right here. This is the Aerie Surfboard SB8200. I've um, used this for a little bit over a year and it has made a huge impact on my internet when it comes to my devices buffering or my cameras running or recording and me viewing my cameras on my phone in 1080p quality versus 360p which is the lowest quality that you can get on my cameras so it's a huge factor that um, of changes that involve me going to my own modem besides obviously saving besides obviously cutting off them having access to my modem and my features because it's my modem they can throw internet into it but they cannot access to it to change any features because it's my modem there's no firmware giving them access and obviously it's not a recycled product this is a brand new product that i purchased myself it comes with a two-year warranty the value of this modem right now is 159 dollars 160 dollars to round up uh, regular price is 190 so it is on sale right now the link is going to be in the description of this video. You want to click on it and you want to get to it um, before it goes up in price. That way you can get it you know, for a little bit cheaper, but it's definitely worth it. Now, my scenario may be different than, than, than other people. Um, most people just have a couple TVs at home, a couple devices that hooked up. Um, and their internet speed, it's running you know, 300 and less or 200 and less internet speed. At that point, you don't have to make an investment of $160. There's a recommendation that I can give you guys, which will be the Aerie Surfboard SB6190. This is a Doxis 3.1, um, and this one is gonna give you a max speed of um, 800 megabytes per second as for the one that I currently have it's up to 1000 but still I'm not paying for 1000 I'm paying for 400 and it still does the job done gets the job done and the reason I'm paying for mine $160 that I paid for mine um, is because it's got the Doxis 3.1 which is a new newer technology uh, the internet speeds are a little bit faster but you're only going to start seeing a difference when you start going to 400 and higher speeds Okay, that's when you're gonna start noticing that internet speed difference. When you're running speeds 300 and lower, then the DOCSIS 3.0, even though it's an older technology, you're still not gonna see much of a difference if you get the 3.1 running those lower speeds. So therefore, there's no need to spend the extra money. Now, for those tech guys that are looking into this product, they say, well, there's more reasons why you should get, I go, that's fine if you're techie, but for the average person that has just a few devices hooked up, they're not, not paying for a lot of internet speed, but just wants to get what they're paying for, then this is be the one will be again the SB6190. I'm also leaving the link in that in the description below so you guys can click on it. There are affiliate links uh, to Amazon. It doesn't mean that you're going to pay any more money. It just means that you're going to help support this channel by clicking on those links and purchasing those products. So. Again, the personal one that I go with is the SB8200, but for those of you less internet speed, the SB6190 will get the job done and it will be a significant, a significant improvement to what you're getting right now with the cable company. But don't forget, don't forget to look over your bill and call them as soon as you get your own modem and they need to remove the bill and then keep an eye on it because they say they'll do it, but they'll still keep charging you for it. This is just some quick tips that I can give you guys. 
check out these products I hope this video has been helpful. I love for you guys to leave it in the comments below if you're getting charged for your modem or router. Which company is charging you? Let us know which company is charging you so everybody can keep on the lookout and make sure that they look at their bill and get that charge removed. And um, if you got your modem, did you see an improvement? Can you recommend the same thing? I love to hear from you in the comments below. But make sure above all to subscribe to my channel, like, share, comment, and um and that's pretty much it, guys. You have been watching DFM TV. I am Dan the Firestick Man, your source for entertainment. And until the next video, happy streaming.